Hello and welcome to your ninth UDK tutorial and in this tutorial we're just going to be doing about materials. So what's a material and what's a texture? Because a lot of the time people think textures and materials are the same thing, they are not. So materials, well let's just say, let's give an example. If I had a piece of cloth right now, the material of it would be, well it would be the image of it, it would be how light reflects off it, it would be the variation in depth and stuff like that. What a texture is that would literally just be kind of an image that I would slap on top of something. So textures and materials are different things. So let's go ahead and start applying some materials to our house anyway. Now I'm really sorry if I slip up and say textures in this video when I mean, to, when I mean materials, but hopefully I shouldn't do. So let's open our content browser. And what this is, this just views all the kind of meshes and textures and things that are built into the UDK. So let's go view browser window, content browser, and if you've already done some searching in here before, or you've clicked some of these, just click all assets, and click clear up here, and that will clear all your searches and stuff. So, right, what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to give you a quick guide of this. So, it looks quite complicated, but it really isn't. The stuff up here in this greyish box is pretty much just for searching around the different assets. Now what an asset is, is it's a mesh, or a sound, or a material, or a particle effect. It's basically just a thing. So we can search through them, we can do object types, we might want materials, in our case, and then different tags, so you might want building, or effect, or explosion, or something. So you can fill through those, and you can also type things in here. So if I want to type wall, then, oh, would you look at that, we get some nice wall textures. And the shared collections down here are actually the stuff that we're looking through. So we can look into building meshes, we can look into cool materials. But these are collections. What they are is they're collections. Did I just say... <laughs> these are collections. What are they? They're collections. Collections are basically just groups of stuff. So for example, this first one is a group of meshes called UDK building meshes. Next one is a group of ambient sounds called UDK cool ambient sounds. Then we have UDK Cool Materials and UDK Useful Particle Effects. Now, where do these things come from? The actual content of them comes from these packages which are down here. So we have Engine, Content, we have all these maps, UDK Game, Content. Oh look, we have all these textures and stuff which we store in our collections up here. So, anywho, let's go back to all assets and click Clear if you've got anything. And let's look for what we're looking for. So. We could look in cool materials and see if there's any textures we'd like. Or what we could do is what I'm going to do. And we're going to say materials in our object type filter box. And then we're going to go down to building. Okay, so now we have a fair few amount of building textures which we're going to just apply to the different sections of our house area. So just find a texture you like. I guess... Um, Let's go with, I quite like this one, and one of the methods you can use to apply material to a surface is you can just drag it onto that surface just like that. So you'll now see, aha, uh -huh, this now actually has this texture. Now it only applies it to the face you've dragged it onto. So the other way you can do it, let's just say you want to apply one texture to multiple surfaces. No, I called it a texture. One material to multiple surfaces. You can click on the surface, hold control, click on the other surface, hold control, click on the other surface, hold control, click on the other surface, and then we right click and we click apply material, and it applies the one you've just got selected in the content browser. So there you go. Now let's go ahead and do our, well, let's do this little section here, because it's going to look a bit out of place. Okay, I don't think there's anywhere else we need this floor texture, so let's go ahead and do the pillars. Again, if I just use the control, well, let's find a texture first. So for the pillars, I think we're going to use this concrete texture here. So I'm just going to select it, and I'm going to select all the faces I want to apply it to. Ugh. Okay, and there's another one right here. And top. And I'm just going to do one pillar at a time, so let's just apply the material. Okay, it's a, it's an okay looking pillar, I guess. It looks a little bit ugly, but oh well. 
we're just going to work with the materials that we've got. So, again, I'm just control clicking, highlight the different faces I want to apply the material to. I was about to say texture. Right click and we apply material. And let's go ahead and do the last pillar. Oh, that was a fail. There we go. Okay, and now make sure I select the top. And let's apply the material. Okay, so you can see generally it's looking pretty decent. Let's just go ahead and do our our um the outside of our walls first of all. Okay. No, 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 not that one. Again, if you've accidentally selected something, you can just control click the thing you've already selected and it will unselect it. Alright, so now let's just figure out what texture we want. This one isn't too easy. Um, try and find something which looks okay. Oof, it's difficult. Um, I guess let's go ahead and use something like this, perhaps. Let's just apply and see what it looks like. It looks a little bit strange, but that's okay. Let's go with that. And let's just do the roof. And for this one, I'm going to choose this kind of weird tile surface. Okay, so we have kind of a weird blue tiley roof and the outside. And let's just go ahead and do the inside. And also, apparently, I missed this section here. Let me just find the wall texture. Okay, here it is. Wait, no. Which one did I choose? Is it this one? Please. Yes. Okay, so that's all of our outside. Oh, I missed this one as well. Sloppy work. And I've just kind of screwed that up. Okay, let's go ahead and do the inside now. And for the inside, I quite like this generally, so... Dum-dum-dum-dum. And let's go ahead and also do our door and window frames with this, because otherwise they'll look kind of out of place being a weird checkerboard. Okay, let's turn around to the other window. And let's just right click. Let's pull. I haven't clicked the right material. Okay, let's apply our material. Okay, and last of all, let's just do the inside of our roof. Let's just make that something pretty. In fact, let's go back down here. Let's go use this. Let's drag it on. Oh, yeah, and of course, there's this one here. Okay, so that sh there should be... Only this bottom on textures, which obviously doesn't matter because we're never going to see that. Did I say on textures? I meant without material. Uh, so, pretty much, materials are just the image of things, and it's basically everything about the surface of a brush or a mesh. So, that is the end of this tutorial, and next lesson we should be learning how to actually make these look a bit better on these surfaces, because, I mean, let's face it, that currently looks a little bit weird. So, that's the end of the tutorial, and have a nice day.